Hello to all musical beings out there. On today's episode, I will be reviewing the brand new Mixcraft Pro Studio 8 Acoustica's flagship DAW. So please stay tuned here in Mixing with GMAC. Hello, welcome back. This is Jalat of MixingMastermind.com where you find your music creations get better and better every day. We'll be taking a look at the new things that Acoustica did to make this huge step in leveling up this awesome DAW. And I'm pretty much excited to start. So here are my observations. First off of my list is Mixcraft's new sound engine. I don't know about you, but to my ears, there's a huge difference on how the sound is heard in Mixcraft Pro Studio 8 compared to its predecessor. I heard before that there's a particular sound coming off of a DAW, and I had been in denial for so many years because I've always believed that it is how you use a DAW that makes you create great sounding music. But really, when I heard a project I did in 7 and loaded it to 8, there's a huge sound difference. The first word that came out of my mouth was wow. And um, also you can now copy effects and drag them from one track to another instead of how we previously do things before. When you go to a track and put the plugin and select the preset that you saved from the previous track to copy the same effect. But now you just uh, need to uh, click uh, shift out and then drag so that you can um, copy the effect from one uh, track to another one. Okay. Now next is the tool that I have never stopped using since its introduction to Mixcraft Pro Studio 8, Melodyne. Woohoo! So what's great about it is it is integrated to Mixcraft, which means it's available to you automatically in every audio track. Once you have recorded something on the track, for example, a bass guitar or a guitar or your vocals, Melodyne processes it automatically. Although the software we have is not the full featured Melodyne because it's just Melodyne Essentials, which is, by the way, $99 in the market and it's absolutely free and integrated here in Mixcraft 8. So it's already great for vocal pitch editing as well as getting creative on intonation and moving notes. Okay. Another one that has gotten me into a frenzy is its side chaining capability. Now, Mixcraft allows us to do side chaining, but the only downside is the feature cannot be done in all compressors. Unfortunately, Mixcraft doesn't include a compressor with a side chain input. However, there's one compressor that can be used for side chaining, which is called Density Mark 3, which is by the way free from the variety of sound. So just uh, go to Google, download it, look for it, it's free. There's another compressor that you can also use, which I um, found out uh, accidentally, which is the free version of the Melda compressor. So I saw the sidechain source box on the plugin window. So we'll, you, you will see it here. So I guess you can use that too. Now, um, moving on, let's talk about MP4 support. And this is a huge step for Mixcraft. Okay. It has been there since uh, Mixcraft 7, but uh, on Mixcraft 8, wow, it's a huge step. Let's upload the defining moment file. One of the example projects of Mixcraft included in the software. So let's just play the defining moment file here. And you can see that there's a video file that um, is, be, is, is playing right now, which corresponds to the recorded session as well. 
So what you can do here is you can import and export MP4 files and edit them on the video track. Okay. Mixcraft has now become a video editing software too. So you can publish the videos directly to YouTube, Facebook video and Vimeo. So on the publisher window, there's upload to promote to and upload an image for promotional purposes. So Mixcraft has already thought um, about this already for you, uh, especially uh, since if you are a musician or if you're using Mixcraft in any commercial purposes, Mixcraft has already thought of how uh, to uh, uh, help you in promoting your videos and your recorded sound. Okay, so another great new feature of Mixcraft 8 is that you can now record directly into the performance panel as you play loops without stopping the music. So basically the idea there is that when you're doing live performance or even when you're recording something, so I'll have another video doing that, okay? And another great thing is it's improved in, uh, user face and interface. You can now choose between the dark and light themes. But what I am really requesting to the Mixcraft guys is to be more flexible on themes as well as the Mixer view. Um, the Mixer view tends to really use whatever space it covers. So let me just give you an example right now. Let's uh, undock the Mixer here. So it, you can see that it actually covers the entire space, okay? Now, what I hope for is that we can adjust the mixer view to other sizes, like it, if we can make it smaller so we can, uh, like we can on the track height, that uh, if you go to view on Mixcraft and then you choose whatever track height, which is normal, small, or large. So I hope that we can do that on the mixer view too, because I like to see a smaller mixer console, which fits one per, which, which fits one person that likes to see everything in smaller fonts and icons, which is like me. So if you're like me, then we can really, really wish for this to happen in the next upgraded versions of Mixcraft. And the sound library is way over the top. Aside from the enormous collection of royalty-free studio quality loops and sounds, they also added a built-in free sound.org browsing and import functions, which gives us access to over 325,000 sounds to use for your songs. Wow. <laughs> That's what I call utmost service, satisfaction guaranteed. So, okay, and they also added global automation and recording and the VS3, I'm sorry, and VST3 plugin capability for more flexibility on plugins that you can install and use. Before, if there are plugins that are not compatible with Mixcraft, but now there are a lot of plugins that are compatible because of this functionality. Moreover, Aside from the great instruments, plugins, and effects on Pro Studio 7, they added more. They added three mastering plugins, the EU Pro Mix Mastering EQ, the G-Sonic DTC-1 Compressor, and the Epilux Octave Reverb. They also added a new version of the Om Omni Sampler, as well as the virtual synth called Kestelheimer Veldberg. I hope that I was able to pronounce that correctly. And one great thing that is not... Uh, there in Mixcraft 7 that's now here, of course, in Mixcraft 8 is you can mix down to stems. So, which means you can now save the project into stems for others to use, especially when sharing projects. For example, if I am in Mixcraft and my mastering engineer is using Pro Tools, this feature will help us um, share the project, okay? They don't have to install Mixcraft um, in their PC or Mac in order for them to uh, open the project, but if you can since Mixcraft now make you uh, mix down to stems and to a zip folder or another folder, then you can share the project as stems so that they can use it, whatever, and upload them, upload the file in their own DAW, okay? And also you can, it has a limited nested submixes, so you can submix a submix a submix down to another submix. And also you can now select and group multiple tracks so you just um, highlight them and then group them, then record all automation mode. And there's also the MIDI auto quantize feature. And one great feature here is the marker list for quick editing and navigation. I love the marker list. Um, you can just open that and um, whatever it is that you, it's, it's, really a, it's really giving you a much more flexible way and more creative way 
on arranging your recorded sounds using a marker. Okay, you don't have to go to uh, where's that? Where's the chorus? Or you just put a, a marker on the chorus, and you and when if you if you have any um, any changes you want to do on the chorus part, you can just click on, uh, on it on the marker, and it just plays from there. Okay, and they all and the mix track also has dry, wet, and post fader sense, and a lot and a lot and a lot. Okay. If we are talking of price point, Mixcraft's bang for the buck. It's just $179, which is so cheap compared to other professional DOS. Okay, so I would like to rate how Mixcraft is faring with the other DOS and faring with me, of course. Okay, easy to use, always 9 out of 10. Interface, 8 out of 10. Sound, 10 out of 10. So, Actually, overall, I'd like to rate it as 9.5 out of 10. I don't know if my calculation is correct, but it's 9.5 out of 10. The 0.5 is just a mix review, but uh, for me, it's perfect. It's really perfect for home studio owners and even professional owners as well. All right, so with everything being said, I guess the next thing to do is to give Mixcraft a try. So you can download the trial version of Mixcraft or you can check the link down below to purchase this wonderful, professional, powerful, and affordable DAW that competes with the big boys in the market. So there you have it. Thank you very much for sticking with me until the very end of this review. As a gift from me to you, I'd like to share with you the step-by-step -step process on how to mix vocals that will result to professional and polished sounding vocal mixes. Just go to my website, mixteringmastermind.com and download the $17 training guide and I am giving that to you as a gift. Again, please give this review a thumbs up. Please comment on the video down below. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.